What's up, what's up? Are you listening? You better be listening because this is Vicente Puentes. Tryouts for Ballet Filogorico, Cheer, Vicus, or Color Guard are coming up um, February 8th. There's a meeting, a mandatory meeting. So come to that if you're interested in trying out for any of them. Um, the emails will be hosted around here somewhere on the screen. So if you, if you, need, if you have any questions, you can email the teachers. Good morning, Vikings. I'm Juan Robledo. And the yearbook staff is now taking orders for the 2017 yearbook. The purchase To purchase a yearbook, you have from now until Wednesday, February 1st, 2017, for the price of 60 bucks. But seniors right now, it's 50 bucks, so get it as fast as you can. Um, the order forms are in front of the guest service in front of the school. And for more information, email Ms. Blue at eblue at irvingisd.net. Uh, what's up, name is Vikings. Let you know that on January 30th, we will be starting the pennies for patients. Um, so, if you're interested in raising money for the Leukemia and Lymphomia Society, please talk to your fourth period teacher to email Mr. Manali. The um, the winner for this would win a Olive Garden lunch and tour. Lunch and tour. Um, but leukemia affects children's ages from one through seven, so it would mean a lot for you to start to um, be in this and raise money. I was born at my house into a loving family. They do their best. They probably weren't doing all that much until I came along. Ava's first bath. became a craft project. Most of all, I love to color. You're not so far away. I stopped coloring one day. That was how I figured out something was not right with my body. The doctor said I was very sick. I had to be at Children's Hospital for a couple of weeks. I got a lot of poke. The hospital became a second home. Yeah, I love you so. Also, my mom was seven months pregnant with my baby sister. A lot was happening. I got really, really sick. I got so weak, I could hardly walk. And I lost my hair. I was kind of looking like a freak. Dad gave me a David Beckham faux hawk. That lasted for like five minutes, cause I'm a girl. All of it was a big challenge, but not unfamiliar because leukemia had already visited our house. Earlier that same year, my dad was diagnosed with a different kind of leukemia. I saw my dad get sick and get better again, so that was good to see. And going through treatment together was a big help. 
His kind of leukemia is controlled with a special medicine he takes every day. But mine, after over two years of treatment, is cured. That's right. You heard me. Cured. Because of people like you, my leukemia is gone. Because of generous people like you, my dad is alive today. I thank you for being a part of the cure. When you give money, when you tell your friends, when you do research, you are the answer for curing cancer. Arguably the best player in the whole world, JDCR. Maybe, I mean, I like me and you. Oh yeah? <laughs> I didn't say player, I said player. That's right, <laughs> they haven't ascended to that level. Yeah. But anyways, right now, JDCR with the point blank. Oh, hello. You may notice something different about today's book of the week. That's because I don't have an actual book. Today's book of the week is an e-book. It's called All-American Boy by Jason Reynolds. It's about a boy who is mistakenly accused of stealing, and a police officer on the scene takes matters into his own hands. All of this has been witnessed by another boy who is the best friend of the police officer's brother. He doesn't do anything about it, which is pretty crazy. But if you're curious about what happens next, scan this QR code and check out the book. On January 20th, the JV and Moore City Tennis uh, competed at the Fair Oaks Invitational. As a team, they earned third place. Please congratulate these players. In second place in Boy A doubles, Rafael Martinez and Jacob Morello. In second place in Boy C doubles, Chris Calderon and Jason Fonseca. Second place in Girls E doubles, Annie Gomez and Itzel Hernandez. In second place in Girls C doubles, Joanna Alfaro and Kimberly Gwynn. In third place in girls C singles, Danielle Zarate. And in third place in girls A doubles, Madison Gomez and Olive Alexander. Please stand for the pledge. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. 